wonderful day to be in the presence of the Lord. Tell somebody say, Be love. I know who I am. Woo! I know who I am. No matter whatever that happened to me, no matter the present situation, but I know who I am. Okay? Listen, God took his time to design me. He made up his time to plan your life. So I know who I am. I'm not surprised that somebody is jealous of me because he is jealous of me because he has seen something in me. People will not talk about you if they don't see anything about you. People will not, you know, snob on you, you know, neglect you if they did not see something in you. I've seen a situation, I met a medical practitioner who studied medical medicine for a number of years. And this medical practitioner has beautiful work this person is doing. But a layman, he is jealous of a layman always talking against Lema. He knew that there's something that is very big in that Lema. So it's not about an education background. It's not about, about where the background. It's not about your father, your both parents are united. It's not about a single parents. It's not about the village where you come from, the country where you come from. It's about destiny speaks than voice. Somebody say, my destiny speaks than voice. You are destiny. It's all about speak for you. What you can do, what you are capable of. You know, sometimes in life, there was a day I traveled. Now something came up in the vehicle and the engineers they invited, you know, it's a German vehicle. I was riding Toraj then, vast watching Torag. And this person is talking another thing, the other person is talking another thing. Get fix the vehicle is the problem. And I look at them. I say, there's something in me can dictate fault. And I bring out that in me. And I dictated the fault, I fix it. And I make move. Something in you speaks than voice. And that thing in you has to be protected. Has to be what? You must protect what is in you. That which God has planted in you. Your destiny communicates, works with the grace of God. Destiny is in me. Grace visits and grace goes. So when Destiny is weak. When grace falls upon destiny, destiny do miracles work. So you have every opportunity, every capacity to do miracles work in your own local life. Somebody say, in my life, I can do miracles work. So in my family, I can do miracles work. Remember a woman that did miracles work before her children. How destiny speaks than voice. A Bible story, her husband died, a wife, a widow of a prophet in the book of Kings. She ran. A devil came and was demanding her two children, two sons. If you don't pay me the money that your husband is owing me, I'm going to take your children as my slave. And these children, they were crying. And uh, she said within herself, I'm a destiny daughter. But I need grace. Somebody say, I need grace to walk out my destiny. So somebody say, you need grace to walk out your destiny. They say, I need grace. And she ran to the prophet. And she knelt down. I'm a destiny child. I have, great, I have that destiny. But I need grace. Explain yourself before God. Open up before God. Pour your heart before God. And God will empower your destiny with grace. 
then you will see yourself performing miracles. Somebody say miracle. I'm not hearing you. So she, she, she ran to the prophet and she poured her mind and the prophet said, what did you have? He said, I have only destiny. Destiny. It's a unique grace. Now take grace. Go before your children. They are shivering at home. They are afraid that the devil may take them. Go. And you see yourself performing miracle. In life. So many people are, you know, intimidating you because they see you that you're nobody. What did you do last Sunday you come to church? The last Sunday you people gather, you know, to talk about the welfare of the church. What was your contribution? Oh, this is where we get weak in our destiny. What was your effort? Are you talking about your selfish interest? Or you are talking about the welfare of the house of God? I'm supporting the house of God because you need grace upon your destiny. I'm talking about God because I need grace upon my destiny. And she ran and said, my husband served. But now it's my turn to be the head of the family. I'm the head of the family. I need grace. And grace was given to her. Then she went back with the grace upon her destiny. And she began to perform miracle. So you can perform miracle in your family. You can perform miracle in your businesses. You can perform miracle in your school. You can perform miracle before any lecturer. If you have that grace, you are talking and they are listening to you. You are commanding them and they are serving you. They will not give you, you know, if you have grace upon your destiny. Ah, King David said, I have grace upon my destiny. I can walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil because grace is upon my what? Destiny. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm checking the whole book. I'm checking the book of Daniel. Daniel in Hebrew. Daniel, Daniel in Hebrew, verse chapter 6 from verse 1. It pleases Dairos to set over the kingdom and a hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom. And, the, and over these three presents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto them and the king shall have no damage verse 3 then this Daniel was preferred above the presents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm then the presents and the prince sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom but they could find none occasion nor fault for the much as he was faithful neither was there any error or fault found in him verse 5 I'm gonna stop here then say this man we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel except we find it against him Concerning the law of his God. I'll tell you something. When somebody notice something in you, and something in you has repositioned you in the community and society, they must look alternative to bring you down. What is in you? Somebody said destiny. I ask question, what is in you? That destiny is why God has chosen you on earth. So you coming into the earth is not by mistake. He chose you and he want to use you for something. And when he began to use you after going the processes of life and your destiny explode. Explosion of destiny simply means you start raining. People will hear you and know you everywhere. Are you getting? Destiny destroyers will be coming from far and near to destroy that rain. 
Can you understand what I'm saying? In the market square, from the time as a trader, you start doing, you know, small, from small scale, and before you know it, boom! This thing has exploded. And when you do, boom! Connection, demand of customers, you can't, if you are no, customers are demanding goods, demanding this, you know, and you think that every other person will be quiet looking at you to prosper. When that destiny do, boom. As an artist, as an actress, boom. You think that everybody will be just looking at you to rain and to shine. A celebrity? No. Look at this man of God. See, wow, wow, wow. They are not happy with you. Thought somebody say, they are not happy with your destiny. Okay, you think that everybody is comfortable with you. Daniel was a man of God, but he was he has no church. He has not gone to you know evangelism. But the destiny in him speaks for him, connected him before the king, and the king recognized him and gave him a great position in government as a politician. So when you have a good position in government as a politician, and you think that you feel last. You feel that because I'm a politician and I can, and nobody can take me out of it. No, you need to fight a fight. In marriage, in relationship, so many good relationships you have built up in life. That is very comfortable with that relationship. I'm very comfortable with this marriage. And you think that everybody's happy with you. They can use you to destroy that relationship. Somebody say, God forbid. Say it again. Okay, you think that you <laughs> I met somebody in my village in my hometown a few days ago, and um, about two, three years ago, this guy was, you know, this guy was doing well. He was doing well. And I look at him, he, that's last time I saw him, wretched. And he was doing well, and he's hanging his shoulder like this without preparing himself. We are about to take you to now. They are trying all possible best to bring the career of Daniel down, but they couldn't find anything. A wise among them, a witchcraft among them, now find out that Daniel has a great relationship with God. He said, we cannot catch him except we destroy his feet. Your enemy, when they notice, you know, there's so many people that worship in my church. I want you to hear me here. When you're worshiping, you think that when things is moving, you think that it's by my own power. Something like that nature happened to one of my sons and daughters the other time. And if you don't take time, they will use your faith. When they destroy your faith, then they would come after you. If we cannot destroy that next faith, we can't achieve anything. How, how can somebody from another community, how can somebody from another country come into Babylon and take over from us? We can't take it. Imagine that after the king, Daniel comes first. Which means Daniel is now the prime minister in English war. Daniel is now the senate president among all these presidents. We can't take it. Politically, we can't take it. And they tr said trap. They couldn't get him. They tried this way. They couldn't they get him. And sometimes, if I'm going out, I go towards this way. If I'm coming back, I'm coming back towards this way. If I'm going out, if I'm carrying away, wife will say, "Remember, we move from this way. We're not supposed to come back from this way. You need to be conscious of everything you do because they are looking at you." They are watching you. I've seen a situation, husband, wife, at the beginning of the marriage is very, very sweet. Look at husband and wife play, playing like rat and cat. And you feel relaxed. As a woman, you feel relaxed. As a man, somebody somewhere is watching you. We must know the source of this love. And we will destroy this love. So if you are relaxed, they will destroy it. That man that wake up in the morning and look at your face. 
That woman that wake up in the morning and look at your face will be your worst enemy. Somebody somewhere is destroying it. Somebody say, God forbid. They say, we will get Daniel. They read Daniel's lies. How he worshiped God on his own. And they make the declaration that will be against Daniel's faith. Where are you worshiping God? I'm worshiping a throne of Elias. Hmm. That man. Hmm. That church. Hmm. Brother, go and look for another church. Yo. This enemy is talking. Sister, go and look for another church. This enemy is talking. You never sit down and know when you join the faith. How you wear and where you are coming from. Now you are changed and they want to pull you out. And when they succeed of pulling you out, I want to let you know some of our brothers that left the church, some of our sisters that left the church, when you see them on the road today, how do they look like? Enemies destroy their faith. And the next thing they will start doing, speaking against their own fathers in the Lord, their own mother in the Lord, somebody that is blessing you, praying for your welfare and they will use you attacking the church. At the end you left the church and they will say we have succeeded. And they say we will destroy Daniel's faith and his church. But Daniel was loaded. Somebody say loaded. Somebody say I am loaded. Somebody say I am immovable. You can't move me. Nobody will go to church. This is coronavirus. Don't come to church. Okay. We are not going to the house of God to worship again. But you can worship God in your house. Daniel began to worship God in his own office. We don't want anybody to shout, to use a mag of phone. We don't want anybody to shout and make noise in the community and society. Daniel, come quietly. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. I'm taking you here. Daniel, sit quietly and face the east. Pray to his God as usual three times in a day. Silent. They couldn't hear his voice singing again. They couldn't hear him praying in Tassism prayer. But what is he doing inside every three, three times in a day? They start to pimp and pimp and pimp. Daniel knows that if he stop praying, they will take over from him. If I stop worshiping my God, I am messed. If I stop going to church, my life is finished. My destiny has been what? Destroyed. Destiny helpers are watching over you every time. The only people you see are the people that will drink with you, dance with you. Among them, you may not have a single friend among them. Am I telling somebody? Destiny helpers. A young lady is coming up. You know, there's so many ladies that God blessed with the body building and you think they are looking at you. They can change that body structure. I know that as a spiritual person. They can change that structure. You become war war. They can change your face and give you another person's face. You look stupid. Destiny destroyers. They can change a responsible young man, a responsible young woman. You become a smoker. You become a Johnson. Destiny destroyers. Spiritual and carnally. I know Reverend Emeka, always a vibrant young man that focus on all things he's doing. Today, Reverend Emeka is a drunkard. What are you saying? Praise the Lord. Destiny destroyer can do everything to make sure you will not succeed in life. They will come after your faith. And somebody can come on social media telling you that Jesus Christ is fake. 
that mighty God is fake. That the only God they know is the gods of their land, the gods of their ancestors, the gods they can eat cola and spit on it. You are spitting on your ancestors, you call it God. If they succeeded of destroying you, they will drink and celebrate your damn fallen. Somebody say, God forbid. You are living, I've seen a woman of a bishop in this town living hand in hand with her husband. Destiny destroyer, look into her. She has children, male children and female children, grown up. But Destiny destroyers enter into this family and pull this woman out from her husband and render her useless today. And another young lady enter and take over her position. God of mercy. Destiny destroyers. Destiny destroyers will come into a beautiful relationship that God has given to you and change your mind towards him or towards her and render you useless that you will never have such person again. Destiny destroyers. Then Daniel will say to them, according to the song you people sing today, Daniel said, you don't know who I am. I know who I am. You can take the church. The government can take the church. They can take the altar. They can take the compound. They can take the chambers. But they cannot take my faith. That is why you are seeing me today. Destiny destroyers. They came to destroy me, but I said, no, I know who I am. I love that word. They can take everything. Destiny destroyers can turn the fate of your children against you being a mother, against you being a father. A, a mother is calling a child. A mother is calling a son. A son will take time before answering the call of your own mother. Destiny destroyers is at work. Mothers, don't give up. Keep on praying. Fathers, don't give up. Keep on praying. Your children will come back for you. Somebody say, Amen. If you are talking another thing, your children are talking another thing. If you are saying A, they are saying B. Somebody somewhere is at work. Don't give up. Remember them in prayers. Deacon, continue praying for them. Deaconess, continue praying for them. I want everybody to continue praying because Daniel succeeded with only prayer. And prayer breaks all yoke. Listen, they have seen what is on Daniel. They don't have. The king find favor. Daniel find favor in, before the sight of the king. The king trusted Daniel unlike his own people. Some of you that work with me, I believe you than my own people. I trusted you than my own people. And you find favor before me. But somebody somewhere may like to separate you from me. To destroy you, to destroy that career. And you may think that you are serving me. You are not serving me. I am serving you. I'm the one that's serving you. And when they succeeded of taking Daniel to the dam of Lion, but the king has seen something that nobody has ever seen. Remember, the king was not a believer. The king was not a Christian. The king was not a Jewish. He was a Babylon and a pagan. But he knew that Daniel is a destiny child and he has the grace from above. When they threw him, the king woke early morning and shouted on the name of the, that Daniel, Daniel, the servant of most high God. Has your God saved you from the lion? He said, yes, I found favor from God. He knew that God will save him because he never stopped his faith. He never dis in, misinterpreted his faith. His faith yesterday is still today. His faith today still remains the same. Wow. 
His faith has never changed. My faith has never changed. Since my faith has never changed, do not expect to hear bad news from me. You can't. You can't hear bad news from me. My faith will never change. It's not about talking. It's about doing. Is somebody hearing me here? He said, Daniel, has your God saved you from lion? I know he will talk. I know he's going to talk that nothing will happen to him. I've not seen a man like this. Your faith. Why is it daddy is talking to you? <laughs> Destiny destroyers. But if you are a wise child of God, sit down and think what you have done. Why? What does he need from you? Correction. To be perfect. What does this person need from you? To bring fire between you and your own director. They will kick you out and say, you're on your own. No? Go in, no go. Go in, no go. You remain stranded. This is how so many people are stranded outside there. People, are you getting what I'm saying? Did they know what they are doing? They don't know what they are doing. You know what we are doing? Destiny destroyers are everywhere. But if somebody said, not my destiny. I'm not hearing you. They are everywhere. Every corner. Every places. I must leave this marriage. After all, so many of them want to marry me. My daughter, be careful. My son, be careful. If you're a matured man, I said this woman is not hearing a word. She don't respect me. It's only this person. Leave this person and surrender to this person. You will know that the former is better than this one. Destiny destroyers. I know this young man. I know when I saw this young man when he was small. And I know that this young man will become something in this life. He's not the first son of his father. But I know where he's heading to. As long as he lives and, so, and believe what I'm teaching, I'm saying, you will see what I'm telling you in the future. Future is full of mystery. Do not allow destiny destroyers to destroy your faith. Your faith is your relationship with God. This is the only thing that will help you in your dream. The only thing that will help you physical. The only thing that will save you wherever you go, in your hometown, in this country, in outside country. If you lose your faith, forget about money. You can make money tomorrow and they can abuse that money. You can make work tomorrow. They can take your life and other people will eat that money. But if you make that faith, wherever you are, you are covered. Then Daniel came out alive. The road that a child of God has passed and succeed, unbelievers will pass the same road and end somewhere. The same road you have traveled and came back, some people will travel in the same road and crushed. Destiny. It's not about coming to church with political experience. It's all about your commitments with God. The sacrifices. Your private belief to God. You can pass the same road. A few days ago, we stopped. We passed on. And a car got burned. A foot bus got burned just like that. The same place we fix our car. And the car carries some 
goose on on knee. And some group of people came and was plugging the plantain and eating it while the cow was still burning. The same road we travel and come back. So many people will go the same road and end, and end their life. I can drink water, cold water, and feel okay. Another person can drink cold water and it will, he, or he or she will not feel okay. Don't allow destiny destroyers to destroy your faith. There's a place I will take you. They have come. You see yourself because you are desperate. They will demand bloody ritual. And the person that took it is not in that. That does not mean you will not be going to church. God knows you. He search our heart. Today in part of the world, all nursing mothers, I want you to hear this. Many places in part of this world today, any nursing mother, some people are haunting you to take your child for money ritual. Young lady today for money ritual because they are desperate. They will want to take you to these gods that will demand a newborn baby. They want to take you to these gods that will demand our young ladies for ritual. But your own God is demanding nothing from you except your faith. And they want to destroy you because they have seen that you are greedy. They have seen that you are desperate to take you to a God that will demand all these things before the gods will give you husband or give you wife. But God needs your focus as Daniel. Daniel came back alive. But the people that conspire against him was through the same place that Daniel came out from. They couldn't succeed. We are a child of God. Go and succeed. If they go, they will not succeed. They know that. That's why when they die, they need mercy of God. Even though their gods, when they, they gods, the priests of their gods will not come and co coordinate their funeral service. They will look for man of God that will come and coordinate because they need mercy at last. That mercy is what you have. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a prayer. The love of God and the full fellowship. Full fellowship. Be with us now and forevermore. And we say another one. Surely, goodness, mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord as Daniel dwells forever and celebrate life they need mercy in grave they will never need that priest of Okite so many cases I'm receiving now I sent my daughter to go and buy something I did not see my daughter I kept my child here I did not see so many pictures I have on my phone people are crying and I'm using this opportunity to tell all the children of God, protect your newborn baby and protect your daughters. Because all these young, young men that are desperate of money, their faith has been destroyed. They are after of our children. May God expose them. May God expose them. In the name of Jesus. I am praying for everybody. Destiny destroyers against your destiny may God destroy them all destiny destroyers against your business may God destroy them all destiny destroyers against your relationship may God destroy them wherever they are coming from may God push them out of your life and I'm telling you, sons and daughters, God will fix whatever you have lost. He will fix your marriage. He will fix your business. He will fix your family. He will fix your career. He will fix your knowledge. He will fix your, 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 your intellectual. 
in the name of Jesus. Can you celebrate life, one? Celebrate life. Celebrate life.